Hi friends, welcome to our tutorials. In today's episode, we will learn how to use ng class. Just to recap, in the previous tutorial, we learned how to use ng style. So ng style is used with setting individual properties, for example, individual style properties. But what if you have multiple style properties that you want to set in one go, right? So in traditional HTML CSS, we use class name. So think of ng class similar to setting a class name for HTML attributes. Before we jump into the practical friends, I request you kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me so that I can bring you more such tutorials. Also, this is part of our full tutorial series. So if you have missed anything or if you need certain information, feel free to check out our other videos. Thank you. Let's get started. All right. So, so ng class is a directive which is used to set the style class names to elements and templates which result to true or false based on some dynamic conditions. So let's get into practical and see, like I said, this is equivalent to setting class name for HTML elements. One of the sample how you write is providing the directive ng class and then providing it with the value. During any time during the course, if you have any questions, any doubts, feel free to ask me in, qu in comment section. I will be happy to help you. Let's get into practical. All right. So if you remember, we were working on this footer section in our previous tutorial where we set using ng style. Right. So I'm going to comment this. So I'm going to take this out. So we know how we have mastered how to use ng style with various techniques. So I'm going to comment this off so that you can refer it when you implement. All right. So let me show you what happens when we do traditional setting class. So this is how we set our traditional class name for elements. In this case, it is paragraph class equal to footer footer works. So if you want to go and see the application, this is how it looks. And if we dig further and see what is this definition of class, go to CSS file and you'll see that there is some background color that we have defined that is light green for footer. And that is what we are applying in our template. Now we will modify this to make it dynamic, right? So let's do that. So I'm going to comment this off for your reference. And instead, I'm going to copy. All right, before I go ahead with that, I just want to show you the output. There is no footer since we have commented it out. So now paste it again. Now, instead of class, I'm going to do a data bind and make it ng class. Right. And this will not work. Because remember, friends, whenever you do string, you have to put it single quotes. Otherwise, it will not work. So now see again back to the same method, the way we did it. So now you would be wondering, why do we want to do it? What purpose does it serve? We can use class name. Absolutely. So if you know that you have a certain class you want to use, you can always use class attribute no problem but ng class directive you can use much more powerful way let me give you an example i'm going to remove it here so there is no class there is no background now let's go to our component and let's define and in the in the background color here i'm setting my value so you see i'm dynamically assigning a value of the class name into a variable which is bg color now same thing we can come here and use the same variable name see so this way you are applying the the background color using class name dynamically in our application there will be times when you want to highlight certain rows maybe show the highlighted one maybe you know, there are conditions you want if you are having a table grid, you want to show the selected ones. So you can use this technique to dynamically bind the data to 
use class if you know the class name it will not change but if you know that this is a variable and can change time to time we can write ng class directive and then assign the value so this is one way now there are other ways like for example if you are working with some complex ones right for example if you are doing a loop or if you are doing an alternate table so you can assign multiple things and you can still get that value now now how do you assign multiple class names right now that's one of the most important things that i am asked every time so if i have more than one class name to apply how do i apply so it's an array so you can pass g so now all right so it says it's not defined let's go in all right so now i have two variables which i have defined bg color 1 bg color 2 now i want to apply two colors uh, alternate and maybe array and to choose one of them right so let's do that so here let's go to your html and we need to close it so now we are passing two values now let's go and inspect this element so if you inspect you would see there are comma right you don't want comma so you can assign multiple classes in one go let's see that so you just So this is error because it's not an array anymore it's just single value right let's see the error quickly so this you would come quite often but the important thing is keep working on it look at the error it will tell you what it is so all right so this is the way we provide um, at least the values to our string directly now similarly uh, I'm going to pass this was through array that you can use and then assign anyone writing if else and ng4 or whatever your logic says right so you can use that now uh, let me show you the conditional operator for the same so in this like how we did for style here you see similarly we can do exactly same for ng class so let's do that now so here I have one which is direct string mapping through the variable so let me list it down for you so here you can write class name that's our example one and then you can pass a variable to bind that's coming from our component variable class name footer CSS class name footer works all right so now we are going to use uh, some condition and put some values so for example uh, so now you want to assign some value so how do you assign dynamically so let's see that in action now all right so the first thing we'll do copy this as it is All right so now we have to set some background so we have to set a class name right so here we are setting if based on some condition again so similarly so here I'll say set BG color if not based on condition so again we can it's it's if you see the syntax it's more like if else right so how do you write if else by passing a conditional operator and then using a value that will be passed so let's see that as well all right so here I am saying if let's say user same I am going to use the same value here for just uh, to explain if user value is equal to orange then put class name as footer or put footer 2 right simple so I'm saying if ng class is this condition is satisfied, 
assign this class name else assign footer to so let's define our quickly so I'm putting footer to background let's say like Corel. now let's see the output so variable name works variable class name works okay so I'm going to just comment these two so just so we you can see the output clearly so we have only one so the output is not yet there so because the value is not matching so let's match the value now so here we are matching the value and then we are setting the class name as footer and the other class name that it should match is footer2 we have our footer and footer2 and we have our value that's matching to orange so all right okay so little bit of debugging required here so usr value check the right still no okay okay let's do one thing I'm going to set this value here and I'm gonna make this value to boolean value to true okay if value is true apply footer okay Right, so this should be goals. All right, so there you go. So I'm saying if value is true, apply footer, else apply footer two. So now let's set this value to false. So now we see our value has changed and this style has got upgraded. So that is how uh, you can set uh, the ng class variable you can use with multiple ways you can pass the class name directly you can pass a variable name or you can set using conditions right remember here you can also pass a bonus tip that you can also pass instead of string you can pass some value which is your defined in your which is defined in your component class so this is also fine it's not it's it's not wrong so it's matching right so so that's how um, we can change the value so instead of string we can pass variables if we want so try it out ng class i'll see you in the next episode but if you like this video please like share comment ask me doubts in the comment section i'll help you for free and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much